You've now got to the stage of wanting to produce a video file to a streaming format. Here we have a short project. Click the produce button. Up pops the production wizard and we're interested in create a streaming file. Click on it. Then go to next. We now have three formats to choose from. A Windows Media Format, Real Format and QuickTime Format. Let's click on the QuickTime Format and start there. In the drop down we can select from three default settings. In the other drop down we have a default setting showing but we also can create a custom setting and if we want to show all the selection we click all and they'd all show in this area here. We're back into the default setting and we'll use t the QuickTime high quality as our template to create a custom QuickTime template. Click new, custom profile 1 and that's uh, 69 dimensions just there. We can alter the codex to best compression codex perhaps we can increase or decrease the size in fact we can only decrease here video codex type leave that one as it is lossless quality keyframe leave it as it is and click OK we now have a custom profile we can examine that custom profile just as we can examine any of the others and it will give the information we, we wanted to know about in the description area we can change it to describe what we've got here which is the best compression codex then click OK and move on to the next stage we can add change edit remove click next to move on to the next stage sort out the output location rename if necessary click save start rendering we can enable preview during production or not in this case I'm opting not to so it's untick make sure it's unticked start rendering we can see the size of that file we just produced is 224 meg megabytes in size a large QuickTime file We've now highlighted the Windows Media Format and in the drop down we have a large selection to choose from. To view all available Windows formats open the drop down box, click on an item and the description and properties are shown in the information display areas. From the drop down we've made a selection to choose the Windows Media Video 9 for local area network with 256 kilobits per second as the one we're going to use as a template. We sort out the output location, change the name, test 002, and it's going to have the extension WMV on it. Click Save, then we start rendering. And you notice I disabled the enable preview during production. Start rendering. We can play the finished uh, video in Windows Media Player and we can examine the quality that we produced it at. We check out the file side itself and it's 1.76 megabytes. We can send that as an attachment. We can stream it off a web page or we can send it as an email attachment. Let's move on and have a quick look at the additional options available. You see this one here, Windows Media Video 9 HD standard quality. You end up with a cracking good quality video, perhaps too large to stream, but plays your HD video in super quality. Let's move on to the real video now. Ah, look at what has happened. We've got a warning here because real doesn't support widescreen, so it's not going to support 169 and this is a pop-up warning message so let's go and uh, deal with that problem first of all 
make a few changes to the uh, PDS file so we can uh, we can make uh, use of the information there and create a 4.3 file from it and call upon the production wizard opt in again for create a streaming file and then we're going to the real video and look at the choices we have there take a look at the drop down available choices we have on the right hand side let's choose 512 kilobits per second broadband cable connection accept the default settings but you have the opportunity to uh, create a new prof profile here change the settings if you like if you want to increase the size of the file and click OK just check the settings have changed yes they've changed there the video size is the one we selected we put the profile name yes everything is what we selected right we can move on no need to change or save any of that click next let's add a bit more information here call the title um, add some basic details so it can be stored in on the file itself select the location where you want this to be let's rename this file test 003 click save we'll have an RM extension name on it and start rendering again we're not going to uh, enable preview during production we want, don't want to slow the process up or interfere with the process we want it to go through smoothly and that's why we untick it start rendering straight away ParaDirector renders the real movie file but the finished file is not placed in the media library unlike the QuickTime MOV file or the Windows Media WMV file which are we have an estimated time of completion but we don't have any uh, production sizes to go on we can abort it if necessary aspect ratio on this particular file has to be 4.3 because that's all that real can produce in create a streaming file the size of rendered video varies depends upon what you selected and the purpose you intended using it for with WMV you have templates for HD and for emailing with real and quick time there is less choice remember to experiment and to try out the streaming section it could become your favorite